Well, it is National Car Month, so we're gearing up for winter time. It's the perfect reminder for you to make sure that your car is in tip top shape. You That's need to be checking right. it. Yes, so joining us now with some expert tips to keep our cars running smoothly, we have YouTube personality and former ACE certified technician, Eric the Car Guy. Good morning, Eric. Good morning and thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, yeah well, uh, we're looking forward to the conversation because this is something that people need to be doing now, not waiting until it's winter oh, time yeah. to do this. So uh, Eric, what are some easy tips that maybe you could recommend to drivers to make sure they're taking better care of their cars? Well, first, I believe you mentioned that October is National Car Care Month, and I'm an advocate of paying attention to your vehicle for 12 months out of the year and not just one month out of the year. Mm -hmm. And part of doing that is just like any relationship, it's about communication and listening to your vehicle and the things it might be trying to tell you in the form of noises. So if your vehicle is making a noise, don't ignore it. In fact, uh, try to note when that noise is occurring. Does it happen when you start the engine or when the engine is running? or perhaps when you're driving and going over bumps or making a turn or turning the air conditioning on. Any one of these things can be a possible clue as to what's causing that noise. And you wanna pay attention to that noise because those are things that could possibly leave you stranded on the side of the road. And you don't want that to happen in the middle of winter. Oh, definitely not. And uh, along with noises, we often see the little uh, lights on our dash there come on indicating different things. That too. Talk about um, some of those things we may or may not know that are happening. Lack of fluids in our car can cause some problems. Absolutely. In fact, I'm a huge advocate of regular oil changes. I can't stress enough how just doing regular oil changes will help keep your just overall vehicle longevity is affected, not just the engine. Sure, the engine will leak less and have less internal deposits. But as I stated, it's, it's strange how just doing regular oil changes and upkeep to your vehicle can help keep it running and, and reliable for as long as you need it to be. Now, as far as leaks are concerned, here's a good tip that I learned from my friend Sue. Um, a lot of times leaks will happen and they'll drip on black asphalt and you won't be able to tell necessarily what color fluid it is. So a good tip is to take a white napkin or paper towel and lay it on top of that leak to soak it up. That way you can better identify what color it is. And as far as the colors and what they could mean is uh, brown could be engine oil, red could be transmission fluid, green could be antifreeze. But also note the location of where that leak was happening. Is it under the front of the vehicle, the back of the vehicle, or perhaps near one of the wheels? So the color and also the location of the leak is important. Another easy thing you can do is add Tecron's complete fuel system cleaner to your fuel system. This will help clean and protect your fuel system so that it's operating its, well, the best it can. And for extra credit, do that once a season or every 3,000 miles. These are great tips. Uh, for extra credit to make I sure like we that. pass the yeah. car test. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You want the extra credit. <laughs> yeah, we, we, extra. Do. we do. Uh, all right, um, Eric, we've covered a couple of different topics, but anything else that people need to be doing to make sure, sure that their cars are ready for the road for winter? First thing I say is batteries. A weak battery now will be even weaker when it gets cold, so check your battery and make sure that that's in good condition so that your vehicle starts when it gets cold. I've also noticed that tire pressures tend to get low during the winter months, so you might wanna check those, and if you're curious about what to set those tire pressures to, there's usually that information located on a sticker. It's either on the driver's door or driver's door pillar. Another thing, if you have a classic vehicle or something like that that you don't necessarily wanna drive in the winter or you don't drive that often, add Tecron's high mileage fuel system cleaner to that, not not only will it clean the fuel system, but it also it also contains a fuel stabilizer that keeps that fuel good for up to two years. So that will help ensure that that vehicle starts in the spring and the, and the fuel will still be good. All right, Eric, you've given us a lot of good information, a lot of good tips. Where can we go if we want to see more? ChevronLubricants.com, and you can also visit Walmart.com and participate in Walmart stores for, for Tecron and uh, Avalon products. Okay. I always want to say Chevron there. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of people hard at work behind you too, Eric. So yes. um, it's just a good reminder to make sure Indeed. you're taking yeah. it in, getting it checked up by the professionals. Yes. And yes. These people are getting around. it done. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes you, you should too. You should too. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, yeah. Eric, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.